another day, another grass fire approaching homes to put out. For sure, and I'm going to bring the open space crew. The end of the Tally Ho fire was not the end of the day for Mike Smith and his team in Boulder County. Yeah, I'm going to do this real quick and then I'm rolling your way. Getting ready to head to another fire in the Bear Peak area. It's a red flag day and, and uh, things happen. You know, this is the, these are the days when we get fires that are going to want to spread. Smith is with Boulder Fire's Wildland Division. He says they bring in a lot of additional staffing on red flag warning days, and we've seen 15 straight days of that. So far, he says his team is in good shape, despite a very busy start to the year, and it's only April. We're still doing good. You know, it's it's uh, unnerving that we're getting the fire occurrence that we're getting. The lack of moisture is definitely starting to see, be something that we're concerned about. Not far from here, debris cleanup is underway after the Marshall Fire. We were meeting with people from all over the state of Colorado that are working on these challenging fires. Democratic U.S. Senator from Colorado, Michael Bennett, toured the damage Tuesday. He acknowledged how busy this year has been on fire crews across the state. And there is an exhaustion and fatigue and uh, mental health uh, uh, requirements that we need to address and pay attention to for people that are coming off these fires. In the meantime, Smith and his team say they're prepared for what's to come. It's not so much adaptation, it's just a, a higher um, level of uh, occurrence for us right now. 